The user details screen is a dynamic one, which means that it changes based on the username that it gets from the previous screen. So we are going to design a screen that will work for every user of our app. First, we need to create the new user details screen. Now, let's add a label on the top middle that will display the username. We will also change its alignment so it is always in the center, as well as its font. Next, we add another label under this one, to display the full name of the user. Again, we change the color and its alignment from the styles inspector. Now we are going to add a button that will display the email of the user. Let's use one of the previously saved colors for the button's title color. Next, we add an image view to show the avatar. We set the width and height to 80 to make it square, and then we go back to the styles inspector to change the corner radius to half of the width, and enable the masks to bounds. These steps will change the avatar image view to circle. It's time to set up the constraints for these elements. For the avatar, we are going to use a different way to center it, using the advanced constraints. Press the plus button in the constraints mode, and disable the left constraints. Then, we will add a center X constraint, which means it will be centered in the horizontal axis, and we will select the view. So the center of the image view, will be equal to the center of the view. Once we've saved the constraints, we can press the Update Frames button, to check the result. Here's the avatar, in the middle of the screen. Now, we will update the pin constraints for the labels and the button, so they are also in the middle of the screen. Finally, we fine-tune their positions. As we can see, the pin constraints got updated automatically to match the new positions. This is not possible with the advanced constraints. Finally we will add a tappable view, with two labels inside. One, always displaying the word, following, and one to display the current number of following users. Again, we have to apply some styling and set up their constraints.
Now, we need to somehow connect these design elements to actual data from the user data type. We know that this screen will display users, so let's add a property to the screen called user and type of user. We can assign the values of the properties to the design elements, just like we did in the cell in the previous video. Let's select each of our labels and assign the respective values. We can also assign text values to a button, so we select the email button and assign it the email property. We will not set up the following at the moment. In the next video, we will see how the user property will be populated with actual data from the database.